I know you have some type of flashback in your head to some certain moment when someone looked at your search history. Really got the whole class attention with his weird ass love confession. I've loved you since the first grade, head ass. <laughs> My brain doesn't understand. Then get this. All right, y'all, so back by popular demand. That was dumb and I'm not gonna do it again. We'll be watching more bad anime. Bad as in A, I like not having you. a plot. E, the plot needing fan service to get you to watch it. Or C, unlikable characters. Unlikable as in, I don't like them. Your opinion only factoring in when you get mad in the comment section. See, that's like your cue to go tell me you're mad in the comment section. The anime we'll be talking about today is Girlfriend Girlfriend. Not to be confused with Rena Girlfriend. Wait a minute! That are totally not related in any way. So, if you haven't seen it before, you've been warned. So, if you didn't know in episode 3, minute 535, where the main lead starts to do the Bugs Bunny challenge, you've been warned. Like, I really don't get paid enough to do this shit. Actually, I don't get paid at all. Alright, to episode 1. Hold on, I need a moment. I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, I told myself I would never watch this anime. Like, where have my standards gone? It, it, I gotta give the people what they want. Suck it up, Barry. Do it for the money. Do it for the money. The sweet, sweet TikTok money. Alright, so episode one. So the anime starts out with Naoya asking us if you had a girlfriend and another girl asked you out, what would you do? Politely reject her and keep it moving, nigga. Like, what you mean? Was I, like, the only one who was, like, thinking that maybe i'm maybe i'm tripping here so his girlfriend is his childhood friend that he's had a crush on for a very long time athletic good student type the all-around girl if you will then we learn what type of character naoya is I've, I've watched a lot of harem shows like this but this main lead is different like bruh is weird he's saying whatever is on his mind 24 7 like most leads turn down all the girls for no reason or act shy for the sake of acting shy. The one thing you can say about his character is he's not generic, bruh is just weird. This man really got the whole class attention with his weird ass love confession. I've loved you since the first grade head ass. <laughs> he's that guy. Like his girl is embarrassed, but Loki liked it. This guy really reminds me of season one Black Clover Asta yelling the entire time. The intro plays, and I gotta say, this shit does not slap. Like, like, I feel like if the intro was better, we'd have a very much different opinion about the show. So in rolls Nagasa, who right off the bat just confesses. You hear that every other romance anime? Girlfriend Girlfriend over here says, it doesn't take the entire anime to say it. Nagasa is a freshman in high school. Hey, hey, calm down seniors. Like we all know that one senior in high school that tries to date the freshman. Anyways. Nagasa has been preparing for this day for like the last three months. Honestly, like the dedication up to this point is just commendable. Like this girl has been training to be best girl harder than I've ever seen before, which is something you honestly have to do nowadays if you're the blue haired waifu. Like, do you just think you're just gonna roll out of bed and be the best girl in this economy? Already top tier performance so far. But then she pulls up with the bag. She can cook. Truly a skill lost to time. All right, tell us, huddle up, what are we doing here? Are you taking the childhood friend or the girl that can cook and came prepared with the bag? After that, can you honestly reject her? I like you and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. So in summary, he asked her, to come with him to ask his girlfriend, can he two-time her? Okay. Of course, like the audience, she's naturally confused. Like who the f wouldn't? So he gives her a pimp ultimatum and is like this, I right, fam. So this is the only way I can say yes, is if, is if I can two-time my girlfriend and have you as the side girl, because I'm not breaking up with my main girl for you. And then they shake hands as if they're on a quest to now convince her. I legit thought I was in like an isekai fantasy world. And on the first glance, she looked at her as competition, right? And then immediately saw how cute she was and was like, no, I must have her myself. And Naoya is just like, roll with it. The three of them legit went on a date. 
And then he goes in for the kill. And then again. And then again. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to cheat on you in secret. I want to do it in your face. <laughs> what the fuck? What the? See, this is the normal reaction, right? The thing is, this guy won't stop. When he has an idea in his head, he's just gonna keep going. <laughs> That's just the character. And when she turns to her, she's like, Are you okay with this? This is all I have. So I'm down. He's persistently trying to make this three-way happen. This man did the Japanese bag 3000. Excuse me. When did begging ever work? Is, is this like a new trend? Does this work now? How is this happening? My brain doesn't understand. Then get this. He goes 20 steps further and proposes to the group that they live together and his parents don't magically live with him. I'm, I'm supposed to believe that? Like, it's a full house in Japan. This is the equivalent of them trying to convince me that the cast of Friends had two students paying rent for a 1,500 square feet spacious apartment. In this economy? The numbers just don't fucking compute. And this girl can't do chores, by the way. So, Nagisa came prepared, cooked, cleaned, with the personality. Yes, personality. Hey, but at least Saki got a cute face, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> She was the main, she was the main girl, she was the main girl. All right, I guess no one's ever heard about equivalent exchange, but this, this obviously is not equivalent exchange right here. This girl got it easy. Low key a good deal though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not really about these type of relationships, but like, in terms of like bringing stuff to the table and like, you know, she don't have to do anything. She, she, has, she has a personal maid right there that makes her sweets on whenever she wants sweets. So Nagisa comes in and they start discussing the birds and the bees. And she's like, I sis, I don't want to get in between you and your man. Cause I don't want you to feel awkward and kick me out. So you can go first. And she's just like, go first, what you mean? You know, birds and bees. And she's just like, we haven't done it yet. <laughs> Then she's like, okay, well, you can kiss in front of me. Don't worry about it. I don't mind. And then she's just like, we haven't even kissed yet. Bruh. <laughs> to see the look on her face. The look of shame on her face. But you know when, like, you have that little fist bump moment in your head? Yeah, that's what happens right here. She legit does a fist bump moment with that smile. <laughs> so, they confront him afterwards about this. And he bluntly is just like, yes, I want a three-way. Then pulls the, I'ma wait though. <laughs> I want to get to know each other so we don't break this up. We don't ruin this. I'm sorry, but where the fuck are these kids' parents? <laughs> I'm still on that part. Do they have like a secret job? Do they have too much work going on? Are they like separated? Do they not like him? Like, where are the parents? Anime, explain! <laughs> Ice episode two. So these three start living together and Saki is having second thoughts, realizing just how much of a degenerate her boyfriend is. <laughs> All right, sure. So let me just tell you something if this is um, a little upsetting for you. If this is upsetting for you, then you do not want to go and check his internet history. Who knows? what a teenage boy would have on his search history. Y'all going to hell. It's 2 a.m. and you up looking at ass and titties, ass and titties, and big booty bitches with your mama's good lotion. Oh, and that being said, who's made it? Let me check real quickly. 15 days into No Not November? I'm gonna guess none of you watching this right now have made it that far. Y'all going to hell. If you're watching me anyways. So, Saki learns just how much all of them are some little degenerates. 
You see, Saki is afraid Nagasa is going to steal uh, her boyfriend from her. Um, Saki, let me just um, <clears throat> break this down to you a little bit. It's already too late. It's already too late. She's already living there, and she's down to do anything. I don't think you can beat that. So they all go to bed, and while Saki turns around, she starts hearing some weird noises. Oh no! And um, some very misleading conversation. You know the type. And her mind starts to wander. And I gotta say, I love her colorful vocabulary in describing Nagasa. It's refreshing. It's funny. Then she's like, enough is enough, you two. It's time to break it up. While Nayoya and Saki are sleeping, here goes best girl Nagasa getting up extra early to make food. And then on the way back to her bed, she comes across his phone. Oh my god. I know this isn't me, but I'm already sweating. And I know, if you're watching this right now, I, I know you have some type of flashback in your head to some certain moment where someone looked at your search history. And if you're not, you're either too innocent or too young. Psych, no one is that innocent. Rule number one, never check your partner's phone. It never ends well. Even if they're not cheating, you'll wish you never saw it. I've caught people looking at my phone and they never looked at me the same way. And guess what she wants to go check first? You guessed it, the browser history. After all, there's nothing really else to check. <laughs> Baby girl's about to see some foul shit, but she's still prepared to do it. That's some real love right there. She about to make a grown man cry. It's admirable. But at the last minute she whistles out and decides she's gonna go check Saki's phone first. And man, all she sees is, well. Y'all going to hell. Actually, I'm not allowed to tell you what she sees. Ass and titties and big booty bitches. Which Just know it's pretty steamy. Then they all wake up and, you know, have a good old laugh. And, and then we learn that Nagasa is insanely in love with Naoya. To the point, she did not go to school for months. Because she wanted to learn how to cook and clean and study up on some other housely housewife tools yeah she's she's pretty crazy she she's giving off a lot of you know gossip vibes and uh yeah she's insane so turns out she's actually a year behind because of all this prepping this girl's really worried about making some snacks what you need to be worried about is your sat and act scores right now you need to get your damn priorities straight over here trying to make some snacks for people I do appreciate it, but like, come on now. You gotta worry about yourself. She has this cute mental breakdown in the toilet cause you know, she's trying to solve math problems because who doesn't solve math, math problems in the toilet? So when she gets to school, they have to act like they're strangers because they don't want the secret getting out of them living together. So that causes her to be a loner in the class. But Naoya being Naoya cannot play it cool. So he tries to break the ice. He ends up doing the most weird and over the top Stop. blabbering and uh, but Saki stops him Stop. each time from just the sheer embarrassment of everyone knowing. Like, Saki is really putting the hand on him right now. Like really beating his ass. My organs hurt. Uh, What's the charge? Oh, this pain different. This is different pain. This is new. This is new pain. So. Saki and Ayoya have their little heart-to-heart -heart moment where you think he's about to, you know, say he really understands in a very mushy way. You know, classic rom-com stuff. But he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. Nagasa walks in and they say, yeah, we'll stop trying to act like strangers in front of everybody. Eye to episode three. So you know how I said that they were going to stop acting like strangers in front of everybody? Yeah, no, they don't do any of that. <laughs> the one thing I can say about this anime is that it's not predictable, and if anyone or any reviewer tries to tell you otherwise, like, they saw this shit coming, they're a fucking liar. And you shouldn't believe what they say, and I really mean that. Like, directly from my heart, I mean that. To you, they're a fucking liar. So, they spend half the episode trying to find a good place to go eat, and they decide to go to the storage unit, or the storage closet. Ah, such a great choice. Many a good dojins took place here. Anyways, 
their conversations keep going on and on and on until they get to the point where Saki realizes just how of a lazy fuck she is, and Nagisa is gonna eventually steal the title of best girl from her, which she already did by the way. Which then leads to Saki wanting to go out and prove herself, thus beginning her training arc to be best girl again. But it fails. And she decides, you know, f like every OnlyFans girl out there and says, I'm gonna throw myself at him. And uh, that didn't work. <laughs> She's feeling pretty shitty right now. I will say she does have a point though, like he's uncomfortably like really calm about this. Not even a little bit of a reaction down there. So Saki leaves and Nagasa realizes, oh shit. I f***ing won. <laughs> and the end. Well, no. Neo's just like, if I can't have both of you, then I don't want one of you. And I'm just like, god damn. Okay. He does that. And then he does that entire scene from that one Drake video where he's like outside this girl's house and he's trying to holler at her and, and she's just like, no, I don't want to hear that. And you know, that entire scene plays out basically in the anime. I'm gonna come to you like a man. I'm out here. You see me. You ain't trying to come to me like a man. And you too old to be on somebody's front lawn acting like this. And you know, she doesn't want to hear any of that until Nagasa starts acting like a college girl on spring break and uh, does some stuff. And like the jealous woman she is, Saki comes back. Mwah. Jealousy makes us jump off the balcony to catch our significant other two timing. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna just end it here. I think I've only made it, let me check. Three, yeah, three episodes into this anime, girlfriend, girlfriend. If you guys want me to do a part two on this one, I'll try my best to finish up this anime, but like, my gosh, there's so much stuff in this anime second by second to like look at that I'm just like, I don't, it's gonna need another part two. <laughs> it's gonna need a part two. But if you can get this video to like 200 likes, then I'll do a part two on this one. <laughs>